Welcome everyone to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am Game Master Bloodworth and as you can see by the graphics, today's video I'm going to be doing an overview of Survive This, What Shadows Hide from Bloat Games. So uh, really much to my surprise, uh, yesterday when I was getting ready to uh, continue my shelf tour, uh, the sixth shelf on my bookshelf behind me. And I came across, you know, the two books of this series. And um, I was preparing to, you know, record them. Uh, and uh, just a short video. And then I came back uh, to my main computer and I wanted to check to see if I had the, uh, the long form uh, video where I either did a review or an overview or whatnot. And much to my surprise, even though I picked up this book probably about two or three years ago, somehow it just fell through the cracks and I didn't get around to doing that. So here we are. What I'm going to be doing uh, from now on is that when I, do a, uh, when I do a video short, I'm going to look for a corresponding, uh, corresponding long form video of that same game. Uh, or at least a very similar topic to that game. So uh, that's something that I'll be doing moving forward. And so uh, I think that it will do you a great service as a viewer, whether you're visiting for the first time or a subscriber or even a member. When you come to my channel and you're looking at a video short, that it will be connected to the appropriate long form video as well. So without further ado, let's switch views here and um so there are there are two books in this uh in this set and the first one is the role-playing game and the premise for what shadows hide is that it is survive this what shadows hide takes place in the modern world as we know it but this world is filled with dangers that the typical person knows nothing about Space aliens, international organizations, blood-sucking monsters, demons, angels, vampires, were-beings, evil corporations, interdimensional beings, creatures of mythology and legend all inhabit the shadows of the world and other neighboring dimensions. Some of them wish to remain hidden, to live their lives in seclusion without interference by man while other entities wish to extend their control and shadowy domain over the world of mankind. So it is based on the Survive This uh, engine. I will call it a, a game system engine, um, which is a variant of uh, Black Hack from what I understand. And the one really unique thing about Survive This, this whole Survive This series, regardless of the genre, uh, that you're playing, and I've already showcased quite a few, um, they're all compatible with one another. You can take a character that you created for Vigilante City and then bring that character over into this system as well, and that character will function uh, exactly the same way within the game rules of this, and, and that was one of the one of the biggest draws for me uh, to start picking up so much of what I did from Bloat Games was that you could take a character from one to the next to the next and, uh, you know, and, and go back and forth, whether it be Survive the Zombies or um, Vigilante City or now uh, Watch Shadows Hide. And, and then there's others as well, which I will get to. Um, so this is the core book for this particular uh, set of books. And then the second one, Survive This, what, what Shadows Hide, is the Cthulhu source book. So this is an extension of this here. And what this is going to give you is it's gonna give you some new classes, uh, a new race, the Cosmos Cats, uh, new classes, the archeologists, Priest of Darkness, Priest of Light, Priest of the Mother, which is like Gaia, um, Priest of the Old Ones, the Protean Path, Priest of the Void, 
a scion, a warlock, and a witch. There are many new abilities that are going to come in here. Many new uh, creatures, both Cthulhu Mythos creatures and, and others that fall within the genre of this. What I really do like about this, though, um, where... Um, where the writer, uh, by the way, the writers of the writer of this is Josh Palmer, with additional writing by Eric Bloat, Jody Brandt, Robert Lambert, Matthew McLeod, Jason Shane. The cover art and the um, I'm sorry, the editing and layout is by Josh Palmer. The cover art is Phil Stone, so really, really impressive art here. And then interior art is uh, Phil Stone, Rick Hershey. Fat Goblin Stock Art, uh, Bradley K. McDevitt, and in, in the, the core rule book was also Runehammer as well. Now, getting back to this, and what I found really uh, a really good idea is that you do not have the stat blocks for Cthulhu or um, Nayarlathotep or, or any of the truly, you know, the outer gods and such, because you're not supposed to fight them. You're, you know, if you see them, you're going to go in, incredibly insane. Um, if you fought them, you would die. And, and so the fact that they're not in here um, really puts them in their proper place where, um, you know, where they're just a challenge that are not to be met by mere mortals, even powerful ones with some special abilities or whatnot. So really a, a, a smart move, I think, from uh, Bloat Games in uh, doing that, um, unlike other game systems where, uh, including Call of Cthulhu, where they do stat block them. And, and originally um, Dungeons and Dragons AD&D, uh, first edition when they came out with the deities and demigods, I mean, all the deities and demigods have hit points as if you can kill gods. So, um, so I really like that as well because it keeps that mystique, uh, you know, and that that true eldritch horror around the fact that uh, these are not creatures that you can just, um, you know, fight and potentially kill or even defeat. Um, if you've read. H.P. Lovecraft stories, um, which I have at, at some point or another read them all. Uh, and, and by the way, H.P. Lovecraft's birthday was yesterday. Um, if you read those stories, uh, there's basically, you know, three outcomes uh, for an adventurer or an investigator or whatever dealing with the Cthulhu mythos. They either fight and die they go irreparably insane or they run away before, you know, on first contact, they run away and, and flee for the rest of their lives, uh, haunted by even the mere glimpse of what they encountered. Um, there are very, very few stories where there is anyone, and I can't think of any off the top of my head either, where anyone uh, either defeats the Eldritch Horror threat or, um, you know, or even comes away from it uh, unscathed in, in some way, whether it be mentally or, um, you know, or physically. So really great uh, inclusion in the Survive This um, the survived this catalog of, of multiple genres and themes and such. And uh, really glad that I had gotten it. I don't know how. I'm, I'm so remiss as not to have actually covered this years ago when I first got it. But it really came at a, a very opportune time, um, you know, and, and really coincidentally on H.P. Lovecraft's birthday. So, um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I will switch back out over to here. So, survive this. What shadows hide from Bloat Games? Another great uh, installment of the survive this series of of books. And he has many, many more. Uh, at one point, 
Blood Camps was producing so many books and, and just a splurge of, um, you know, just so many in one span of like maybe 12 months or so that I was like, I, I, I just couldn't, just couldn't keep up anymore. So, um, you will see the short for this, uh, for this book coming up, uh, after this now, and it will be linked to this. And, um, and going forward, I will continue to do that. So, uh, thanks for joining and, uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, you know, like and share and comment. Uh, you know, that's all greatly appreciated. I've made a lot of modifications to the channel. I put it up in the community notes. Some of the changes I've made. Uh, and those changes, I hope, will make it a lot easier for you to navigate through my channel. And, uh, and see the things that you really want to see and get a better sense of, uh, and, and a much quicker sense of what my channel is all about. And uh, as I said, the, the videos now, they will all have uh, links and such to content that you're most interested in seeing. So that's another thing I'm going to be doing on my uh, end screens, is that there'll always be a, uh, a link that you can hit for things that the algorithm says that you're most interested in, uh, most likely from my channel and then uh, I will also link the appropriate uh, you know videos that connect these all together so as always thanks for joining I look forward to seeing you on a gaming screen or at a convention sometime soon uh, you all have a great rest of your day take care